House Speaker Mike Johnson says that he will try to advance a $95 billion foreign aid package this week following Iran's unprecedented attack. This comes as President Biden looks to avoid a widening conflict in the Middle East. He's hosting Iraq's prime minister at the White House later on today as he tries to prevent the conflict from escalating further. So CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian is joining us now to get a little more reaction from Capitol Hill. Nicole, good to see you. How are lawmakers on Capitol Hill reacting to Iran's attack? Well, for the most part, they are pretty unified in terms of uh, standing by Israel and its right to defend itself. Obviously, there's a lot of concern among lawmakers that this may potentially escalate into a wider conflict in the region. And for instance, I talked to uh, House Foreign Affairs ranking member Greg Meeks uh, just ahead of this attack, but his uh, concern was that, uh, you know, de-escalation on the part of those partners in the region is really critical, and he believed that that really was uh, going to be the impetus of the administration's push as well uh, to make sure that this doesn't escalate and, and spiral out of control. So I think everybody is just cautiously uh, waiting to see how things play out uh, in the region, but again, understanding that uh, there are many uh, things at stake depending on how uh, the situation plays out. Right. And it looks like this has actually revived the conversation about getting additional aid to both Israel and Ukraine. And that really is the more uh, critical push and message that we're hearing from lawmakers. Although, once again, Anne-Marie, we are seeing a very divided split, uh, particularly among party lines. We know over in the House, uh, House Republican leadership has indicated that they may adjust the schedule this week to potentially take up a standalone Israel aid package. Of course, we know that the Senate passed that national security supplemental package a few weeks ago which not only includes aid for Israel, but also for Ukraine and the Indo-Pacific. Of course, we had the Prime Minister of Japan addressing Congress just a couple of days ago, uh, pushing the U.S. to move forward uh, with that package and pushing the Congress to move forward with that package. So uh, there is a bit of a divide with some lawmakers saying, look, we need to take up this national security supplemental in whole whereas you have other lawmakers who believe right now, given what we just saw transpire over the weekend, that that aid to Israel is more critical. Mm, so this could rearrange the schedule a little bit. Could it potentially delay the Senate taking up the impeachment of Secretary Mayorkas? Right now, that remains to be seen. You know, at this point, our sources had indicated that it was possible that the articles of impeachment against Secretary Mayorkas could be transmitted as soon as Tuesday. Uh, whether or not that gets impacted again by the developments over the weekend and overseas and the urgency of having to take up this package remains to be seen. But keep in mind that Congress is due to recess in just another week. So mm. on the part of House Republicans, if they want to move forward and kind of, you know, be able to get the most bang for their buck, if you will, uh, there is a desire to kind of move forward with impeachment. But again, it's it's a little politically complicated uh, with all that's going on here right now. Right. To say the least. Nicole, thank you very much. You bet.